in my last video, I said that I was mad. It's knee height and high tower here. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was the water reaching the critical height. Well, it's raining. And I think I'm going to do some thatching. G'day, welcome to Chestnut Nag. The, the original plan was to get up early, uh, take advantage of the overcast weather and get some filming done without the dappled light, get that last little bit of thatch done before the rain came. <sighs> but the rains come early. And, unfortunately, also, my alternative plan of you know getting a whole stack of videos edited is out because Sarah's using my computer, my computer, my computer. So on a day where I you know, can normally get a whole stack of video editing done and other stuff, uh, no. And so I'm kind of kicking around, twiddling my thumbs, wondering what I'm gonna do. And I thought, oh, well, damn it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get the roofing done. Uh, I'm gonna get wet. It's probably gonna be a bit chilly, but, oh well, let's get on with it. The first thing I want to tell you is the smell under here is amazing. It's beautiful. Uh, it's just the, the rush gives off this sort of oh, this grassy smell, which is, is well, I really like. It. Yeah, and it's one of the things I like about working with natural materials. It's it's more than just the 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 aesthetic of them, but it's sort of how they feel, they smell, or sometimes taste. Yeah. But anyway, first thing I've got to do is I've got to get up there and tighten some of the bunches that I laid on a little while ago they, when they weren't fully dry and they've, they've loosened up. So before I put more on next to them or on top of them, I've got to tighten those up. Oh, that moved. Nice, right, so you've got those tightened up. Now if you see uh, up here, there's a whole stack of fronds that are hanging down. And this is the ridge just there. And what I'm hoping is by the time I finish here today, I'll have no more of these fronds hanging down and the thatch will be covered to the ridge. So this portion that we're standing in will have the roof extended to the halfway limit. A full quarter of this workshop, they'll have a roof on top of it. That's why I like my tools razor sharp, literally razor sharp. Holy cow, yep. that's not even pulling at all. Blood Can you be quiet? I'm going to use these to help hold the thatch down. bundle here is coming it needs to come up but it's going over the top of this and so I need to build this up a little bit here so that the next layer here can go over the top of this one What I've been trying to do to get this valley to work is have the courses of thatch from the dormer versus the gable to over overlap each other so that when water comes down off one side it'll go onto the top of the other. Now I've arranged this course of the dormer thatch so that it's coming down on top of this. So what I've got to now do is do the next course of the of the gable so that it comes down onto the edge of this and will sh actually shed water, you know, onto the onto the dormer, which will then go back onto the gable. Uh, 
getting them to sort of overlap, it, it, it sounds pretty simple, but doing it so that the water actually flow from one to the other without penetrating through the gable is, well, tricky. <sighs> I think part of the issue is that I haven't got this line straight, so I actually need to get a lot of this material to sit back. Yeah, I think that's better. And that's going to allow me to get another bundle onto here, maybe. Now you see, I've got this coming in here, and this coming in here, and this is overlapping. So water coming off here is going underneath this little bit here, but it should be hitting stuff there and kicking back out. Whereas here, the water's gonna come down, and it's gonna hit this, and hopefully flow down. I think it's the last video that I did in this series where I said the first rule of thatching is you don't have enough material. I thought I was gonna have enough material, at least I hoped I was gonna have enough material. And I, I, I knew I wouldn't have enough material to get the full last course on, but I was hoping, I was hoping that I was gonna get the full second last course done. Because then I would have coverage from basically the top to the to the ridge pole not maybe waterproof coverage because the would for that you need the last course and really for that you need the capping courses as well but I was really really hoping I get that second last course finished but I reckon I'm gonna need the better part if not an entire whole another trailer load to get this bit finished or at least to get to the second court to, to get the second last course finished because this this corner that I'm sitting in is probably, in terms of volume, it's a whole trailer load of volume of thatch. Because uh, I've got to pack a lot of this up uh, without even just thinking about the waterproofing. I've just got to fill this void up so that I can then lay the waterproof layer on top of it. And I think one of the reasons it's taking so much material is because of my inexperience. I've sort of, as the layers have been progressing back to this corner, they've been getting thicker. Like if you look at how much depth well then again, I don't know. That's pretty consistent depth from what I was started with. And if you look on the outside, it looks pretty consistent. It's just this huge, massive hole here that I've got to fill up. And I've got to fill it, you know, all the way back to there. So I've got a couple of options. One is I throw a, a tarp over this corner just to, you know, put to fill in the corner so I've got a, 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 at least it's working and there's not water getting into the top of the thatch up here so that it sheds it better. Uh, alternatively, I've got to go back to that dam where I got the last load from and get another trail load. Uh, however, it's no longer the first day of winter. It's now the 17th of June, so another two weeks plus have passed. Uh, that water is going to be colder yet again. So if I was going to do that, I'm going to need some backup. I'm going to need some people to come along with me so that if I do have an issue in that cold water, you're there to pull me out. So if there's any volunteers, I might be up for climbing back into that water. And I say might because, you know, you heard how much I squealed in the last, the last time I got into it. It's going to be colder again. Um, but yes, I am that crazy to do it because I do want to get this corner finished and I wanted to get it finished with Rush. I could finish it in reed, but I think that'd be cheating and it would ruin the kind of aesthetic that I'm after is to have that that experiment between the the Rush versus the root reed thatched roof. So yeah. Let me know what you think. Whether you're going to advise me to just don't be crazy, don't get in that water or whether you're willing to sort of come and watch me and I don't mind if you laugh as long as you're there to pull me out if I have an issue. But anyway, catch you in the next video and uh, I'll talk soon. What the hell? You said you had work to do on the computer. 
I've been set up. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> you didn't tell me what the script was. Yeah, I know, but that was funny. All right, can I have the computer back now? No. <laughs> I've got stuff I need to get done. <laughs> I was set up and I'm enjoying it. You were supposed, you said you just said you hated it. Yeah, it's not a very good game, so if I can't get it out, you can have it back again. I think I'm almost done. You said get to... I want my computer back now! <laughs> You're in so much trouble. <laughs> I always am. Oh, wow. Eight. Three. Have I told you how annoying you are? <laughs> I'm gonna lick your nose. 